And we're back. This is going to be, what, episode two of Ray Larius Talks. My man's over here sipping that scissor and whatnot. Um, everybody was like, hey, we love your voice, but dude, we want to see your face. <laughs> this is what y'all want to see? This is what you got. All right? We finna film with both cameras. Not that I'm rich or anything. I brought mine. He brought his. We about to do it real quick. Carrie's here again. Carrie boy. You know, give yourself a shout out, Carrie. Yeah, you know who it is. It's your boy, Carrie. Um, Carrie the Legacy on all platforms. If you know who I am. And you know who I am If you don't Then you know You need to look me up Cause y'all tripping You are so humble It is hilarious And just in case Y'all wondering Why there's so much fog In this room We are filming The fog too You know me and Carrie We're starring in the new movie So just in case That's just like VFX Let's call it that <laughs> And if if you don't believe That it's VFX You know damn it What it is Shut the hell up Alright we gonna, we gonna keep it down All right. What kind of VFX it is that mm. type of VFX <laughs> Marijuana Damn I just snitched on myself Anyways um, For this episode We're gonna be talking Well I'm gonna be talking about um, The first time I got casted Well not casted I lied uh, The first time I got bumped up from A background actor To principal role Which means basically I was in the background They see me They was like Hey bro Get your butt up here We wanna put you in the camera more You know what I mean Whatever we can do Did I tell you the story? No you didn't Alright there we go uh, Even better so um, back when I was living in Boston, uh, I was do I was working with Boston Casting. They help out with like uh, background work, you know what I mean, auditions and everything else. So I was doing that, but at the time I wanted to move to Los Angeles, and I just didn't like I like the feeling of wanting to do background again. I didn't want to do it, you know what I mean? Like you know, like, like doing background after a while gets well, to you. What's funny is I never did background. Oh, well, it's not because. I didn't want to. It's because I never really auditioned for a role. <clears throat> well, guess what, my brother? I didn't even audition for a role. But, you know, you start, like you need credits on your resume, you know, something to show that you're actually doing something for a living. You know what I mean? Um, so that's that was like my main thing. It was like just doing background. Eventually, you'll work your way up. You know what I mean? Have a good resume, right. something to throw on there. So at the time, I didn't, really didn't want to do it. Just because I wasn't feeling it so much, but everybody was like, you know what? Don't give up. You know what I mean? All that when it comes to acting, don't give up and everything else. And at the moment, somebody was like, hey, dude, they're doing this movie in Boston right now. And they just need a lot of black people, <laughs> like straight up. Wow. I was like, damn. A Wait, lot was, of black people, you say. I was like, you got me with that. I was like, I think I'm black. I got this. I think I got this roll down. You, you know black what I mean? enough. Black, black enough. Yeah, black enough, like milk chocolate. So I was like, they gotta cast me. If they can't cast me, that's that's a little racism, right? Yeah, a little bit. Just a little, a little bit. bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. So um, they were doing the movie Detroit, and it was about the Detroit riots in the 1960s. Ooh, shout out to my boy LG. Yeah, I met him too. Um, uh, the singing guy, Jacob Lattimore. Mm. He w he was cool. There was so much people. That was awesome. Uh, that guy from that Nickelodeon show, Victorious. Can't remember his name. Andre. No, that was his name was he had dreads. Well, let me ask you this: Y'all filmed a movie called Detroit, but did y'all film it in Detroit? Oh, just in case you guys didn't know, when it comes to movies, uh, no, we filmed it in Boston, Massachusetts. Oh yeah, you did say Boston. We we filmed it in Boston, okay. so like certain sceneries they'll fi they'll film it in Detroit, but like main stuff like mm -mm, Detroit was like. But the uh, actors they would they wasn't in Detroit. Mm, probably like a couple of days, maybe. Everything oh, else was like okay. mainly in like on like in Boston. Probably a couple of scenes in Detroit, which makes sense. I think the theater that they shot at was in Detroit as well. You know what I mean? But did you go to Detroit, brother? I was a background. <laughs> no, <laughs> my ass was in Boston. They was like, we need you for like a couple of shots. That's about right. it. You okay. know what I mean? So you're not important. But they just need a lot of black people for like the riot scene. So I'm like, I got it. You know, I could get mad. I'm black. Like I got two two out of two, bro. Right, like I'm right. Denzel at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh first day get in there, it was amazing. You know, you know what how I am with my vibe, uh just being myself, you know what I mean? Uh, I right, met a right. couple of friends from there too. My boy shout out to my boy Angel, shout out to my boy Seaburn. I met him um on that movie and Seaburn did this TV show called The Circle. So I'm gonna tell you about it on Netflix, but you know, saying about you, oh, Seaburn. I know about the circle. Yeah, it ain't about it ain't about the circle right now. It ain't about Seaburn. It's about me. Sorry, Seaburn. I love you, but it's about me right now. No, I'm just playing. So we just have fun. And it's like we became a whole family. But at the time, like, I'm just the type of person that just like tends to make it less awkward because you know it's the first time everybody's linking up. You know what I mean? So I'm just being myself, you know, throughout everything. Just the normal Raymond. Whenever they need me, I'm just doing whatever I gotta do, having fun to the side. You know what I mean? Like keeping everybody entertained. I guess throughout the whole time they were noticing it. Uh, the director, the assistant director, but I just didn't know. 
Uh, shout outs to Catherine Bigelow. She did uh, Point Break, the original one, not that remake that we got. Um, she was married to um, the guy that did t- Titanic. Can't remember his name. What was the guy? What was the guy that did Titanic? Uh, you talking about Leonardo? The one that directed Titanic, but I never said. Oh Come shit! On. Well, look, when it comes to directors, I'm not that good at it. Yeah, but Titanic was a good movie. It took me two seconds to realize what I'm talking about. James Cameron. He, <laughs> dude, come on, Avatar. So, uh, yeah, she was married to him. So she was doing her movie, Zero Dark Thirty and everything else. But I didn't know who she was. Got you. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I'm treating everybody cool. I'm just having fun. You know what I mean? Doing everything I can do. Just like props that I had, the police officers I was there. I was just having so much fun. And everybody was just like, dude, this dude is amazing. Um, a couple of days into it, um, that's when I seen the guy that did Everybody Hates Chris. Um, I forgot his name Tyler Tyler He okay, was there yeah. And like I remember The first day seeing him I wanted I wanted to walk up to him And say something to him But I knew he didn't know Who I was So I was like I didn't want to be that guy You know what I mean He on that new show too It's pretty funny Oh uh, Abel Elementary Amazing show You guys are watching yes. On ABC You know yes. that's They're not paying us for that well, Clearly you know, Shout out to her Because She actually was A creator That do what we do As far as Get online And make videos She had a real viral video you might can put the edit up here if you if you choose to do that. Uh, but, I, I, I can't do it, but you can do it for me. Uh, Carrie's okay. going to do it for me. It's going to be right here in the bottom left corner, right, Carrie? Yeah, but she had a video, and it was about her going to the movies and the dude paying for it. And she was like, he got money. Oh, that was her? That was her. <laughs> and she went viral, and that shit went everywhere. But shout out to her because she came a long way. That was back in like 2013, 14 when that video went viral. So she doing big things now. Yeah, I did not know that. That is amazing. Shout out to her. Yeah. Hope she's watching this and put me on that show season two. I'm saying. Hey man, you could you know be a janitor or something. I'll be, I'll be the janitor's son. <laughs> the the janitor son. in that show is actually funny. He is hilarious, yeah. bro. Uh, so um, yeah, so I seen Tyler. Um, I wanted to say something to him because I would watch Everybody Hates Chris, but at the same time I needed to give him his personal space. But I was like, the one way I'll test him to see if he's cool or if he likes me, just be myself. So whenever we have breaks and like they're doing their shit, you know what I mean? I'll just be Raymond. You know what I mean? I'll have my fun. Bam, boom, bah. Dancing, doing whatever I got to do. At a certain point, you know, I was joking with everybody. I had everybody in the crowd. And then I see him in the corner, like practicing his lines. And then he'll look up and he started laughing. As soon as he did that, I was like, gotcha, bitch. I was like, mm-mm, you Don't fuck. you feel that way anytime you make somebody laugh? Oh, 100%. I'm like, I love making people What's laugh. What's crazy is like with women, like with them, you flirt with them and... Sorry, I had to get that. We still filming uh, the Fog Two guys. This movie is amazing. I'm telling you right now, this movie is fantastic. <laughs> but like with women, when you make them laugh, nine times out of ten, they're not gonna reject you. Uh, I've seen people get rejected. Well, I'm saying like, no, nah, I'm just playing. Nah, I get girls get real comfortable when they start laughing. So when they laugh, then they're comfortable with you. Nah, I feel and you. Most of the time, you know, back in the day, you know, you would get somebody number like that. You could probably still do it now, but it depends on how you talk. It's all, it all depends if you <laughs> if you're a smooth motherfucker. That's all it's about. If not, it's gonna be awkward as hell, and but, you ain't getting shit. But girls just feel comfortable. Period. Like when they feel comfortable, then the conversation can flow a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? And that's why anybody, not just women. You want to know the first time I got uh, this girl's number? Went up to her, just slapped her booty. She turned around, gave me her number. No, nah, I'm just playing. That was the wood. I'm just playing. That was the wood. I'm just fucking with I you. was like, wait, I know this scenario. I, f- I forgot about that dollar. I took it out just to test them and shit, but this motherfucker knew the movie. But anyways, listen, so um, I got him, and then he starts laughing. He starts just like um, just like having a ball. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, I walked up to him, introduced myself. You know what I mean? And he introduced himself. And at that point, I was like, I got like nine more days of this shoot. We going to be friends. You going to like me, brother. You going to like me. So it just like... It just turned into a natural, cool situation. You know what I mean? But the next day I would show up. I'll see him outside of his dressing room, say what up to him. He'll dap me up. And it got to a point that he would say what up to me first. That was the cool part. You know what I mean? I'll show yeah. up on set, just minding my business. And then he'll be like, what up, Bray? Well, you see, that's how I felt about a couple of like movie stars that I've met in person. And we just became cool because dude, that dude is awesome. we talk to them like they hor- like they normal human beings. Like. You got to talk to people like they normal. Like most people see stars and celebrities and I'm just like, with me, I never get starstruck because I just like to talk to people, talk about their journey, how far they came and just who they are as a person. A lot of people just want pictures and shit, but that's why people 
no cameras. We don't want that in this club. We don't want that in this party. People do that because people become big ass fans in the moment. I'm like, don't don't become a fan. Just be cool. Big like, facts. They'll like you even more if you just cool. So big facts. I just treat everybody as a. I treat everybody that like. I don't see like yeah. So you're a celebrity, whatever. But my shit is just like you're a person that you're doing your job. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like a doctor is, should be a celebrity. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lawyer should be a celebrity. Right. So I don't get like the whole celebrity thing. It's like, oh, you made me laugh in a movie. That's what's up. You're a celebrity. You saved my life. You a bigger celebrity. You know what? You was in me, literally. Huh. That's what she said. Bang, mm-hmm. bang. You seen those jokes that I just threw in there with my finger bang? Well, you know, it's funny when I met Jamie Foxx. You just fucked up my finger bang joke, bro. Like, we filming. It was like, bang, bang. I could do well, it just now. put the edit in there. I don't got to put an edit, bro. I just did a finger bang. But you know what? Just go. Say what you got to say, motherfucker. God damn. Um, Jamie Foxx was that way when I met him. He was just cool, normal dude. He came to us like, y'all having fun? Y'all being good? I was like, well, damn. That's funny. I would have been like, damn, Jamie, back the fuck up. Shit. I'm having an amazing time. How are you doing? <laughs> so um, from there, it just became natural. You know what I mean? Everybody knew who I was. You know, I was just being real funny. And at the point that I knew we was doing something good, uh, me and my boy Seaburn, uh, we like we we love being the like class comedians. You know, we love being that them clowns and making everybody feel comfortable. And mind you, I was only I only knew Seaburn for probably like uh, maybe like a month or less, maybe like a couple of weeks. But we naturally just bonded, and it got to a point that we just did this dance off. It was with me, him, and this actor named Chris Chalk. He was on um, Gotham. Mm. He played Alfred. No, no, no. Uh, he played Lucius. I don't think I remember. If, yeah. if, if you haven't watched it, you'll like. If I you watched watch it, Gotham, but only a few. He episodes. was amazing. So he w- he was so cool with us as well. So we just did a whole dance off. You know that dance off that Kevin Hart does? Ooh, no, yeah. What I got? What I got your heart. We did all that shit. So I took Seaburn's heart. I did that shit. But it was crazy because like as we're dancing, you would think that everybody would be like, you know what? Stop. You know, like this is dumb. And it's funny because like me just backtrack for like two minutes. Before we was doing the dancing thing, this guy pushed me to the side. He was a firefighter and uh, he wasn't an AD, but he worked with the set for something specific. They would always hire him. But mm-hmm. you know what? He was he wasn't a big deal, but he was just a person that would be on set all the time. You know what I mean? Right. So he he seen me throughout the week just being Raymond. You know, he literally pulled me to the side and he was like, "Bro, listen, you gotta you gotta calm that shit down. You can't be all like that while people are working." Blah blah. Like literally putting me down just because I'm, I mind you, nobody said anything to me. Like there was it was never a problem, but to him it was a problem. He was like, "You gotta calm it down. Can't be the center of attention." And blah, who blah, was blah, this blah. again? Some random dude. Like he would on I, set. Yeah, like he. But he, he wasn't a part of the. Project. He was he was part of the crew, but he, he was so minor. You know what I mean? He was all, he would oh. every time they were shooting Boston, he would be part of the set doing well, something. He was a dude that was doing his job. Yeah. No, no, not even his, he had he shouldn't he shouldn't said nothing because like oh, I, I think okay. his shit was like something dumb. I don't know what it was. It was like safety or something stupid. But he had no reason to say anything. You know what I mean? He just bringing me down for no reason. Everybody's having fun. At this point, you know, so he pulled me to the side that same day. He was like, you got to calm it down. You're too hyper. People like you won't last in this industry. He was like, you'll you'll get burnt out too quick. Blah, 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 all that shit. You know what I mean? So I, like, no, there's a way he could have said that a lot different because sometimes and I'm saying this because I know you <laughs> sometimes you can go a little overboard, but you know when to calm down. But for a nigga to come in and tell you shit like that. He just trying to put your spirit down. That's that's one hundred percent true. I know myself. Like I, I know I'm a hyper dude, and it's like it's pretty crazy when people probably watch shit like this. They're like, dude, this motherfucker is like calm. Like he's not yeah. going bananas. You know what I mean? No, when people first meet you, your personality. But is, that's my personality all the time. But people know like there's this side of me of where I love to just talk naturally and just like talk a lot. You know, without being wild. I know I'd not be wild. Don't get me wrong. But I love doing it. Just I've because always told you the right way because ex- people pe- just be like. Nigga, you're doing too much. Like, no, you're not doing too much. Big that's game, big are. game. So, so he's that's like that. Like he's he's giving me all that lecture and shit. You feel me? Like all that shit. But I know I'm not doing too much. I know I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to do. Right. Keep people entertained, just happy. I'm like, if the director's not the one coming up to me talking about I'm ruining shit, then you shut the fuck me. up. Yeah, that's my you shit. You know. So he's saying he said that shit. I was like, all right, that's cool. You feel me? I was like, but uh, you don't want to be like everybody else. Everybody exactly. else is Raymond's Raymond though. Line. You feel me? Like, Raymond's. I Raymond. want to get to know people outside of this. Peep game. So I'm like, all right, Raymond's Raymond. Raymond's not like if people know me. I like depending on the situation. If I take it as disrespect, it's just more like, fuck off. 
Like right. you, yeah. like it's going karma's going to come and smack you in the axe, bro. I'm you not going to stop. That. So he says that. It. I'm, I'm just saying. He, <laughs> so he says that, right? And then, um, boom! Fast forward, me and Steve Burns doing our dance off, right? With the actor Chris Chalk, we're doing our shit. Blah blah blah. What I got, all that shit, to a point that everybody on that set stops. Right? We thought we were like about to get in trouble on some on some crazy shit. Everybody, the assistant director. Everybody, the last person that turned around that stopped was the director, Catherine Bigelow. And we were like, oh, fuck, we're screwed. You know what I mean? Everybody's looking at us dancing right now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But people are laughing. People are smiling. Like, people are entertained, you know? So, me, I swear to God, me and Seaburn had a moment. We looked at each other. You know those moments? You'd be like, it's on, bro. It's on. Motherfuckers want us. We start going ham. Then Catherine Bigelow just goes in her pocket, pulls out her phone. And then I got, I got his dog right now trying to fucking... Trying to talk to me, Jimmy. Jimmy, get out of here. He always liked to be a part of shit. Jimmy. It's all good. You want to be on the Chill. podcast, but we can't. Oh, I'm gonna put you out this room. Bro. God damn. All right. No, I'm a dad at the same time. <laughs> oh, shit, you dad shit. the fuck up, bro. Quick. So, uh, Catherine goes in her pocket, pulls out her phone, bro. Starts recording us. And you know how it is when people start recording you. It's a rap from there. I mean, see, burn just go ham. Bop, bop. What I got? What I got? Boom, boom. Everybody's mm -hmm. laughing, clapping, going bananas. And then when we were done, everyone starts clapping and going crazy. You know what I mean? Catherine comes up to us, hugs us, does all that right in front of the dude, though, that just told me to calm down and not be myself, nigga, because it's like it's going to get burned out. Right. Everybody loved it. So from there, like we could me and Catherine Prove that nigga wrong just saying, you know what I mean? You know, like, like like I hate when people like stay in your lane. You feel me? It's just like right. I know what I'm doing right. and I know what not to do. So at that moment, if I was that person and I've seen you doing that, I'll let the director say something because facts. it's not my job facts. for me to be like, dog, you can't act like that's this. not the first time. No, <laughs> that's not the first time. Peep game. No. So um, me and me and Catherine at this point, we're like getting getting to a point that every time I'll see her on set, she'll say hi, Raymond, like personally, not hey, hi, Raymond. I would say hi, Catherine. And I know that some people are getting like jealous a little bit like, what the fuck? Like. I was he this cool with the director? You know what I mean? I'm, right. I'm a background at this point. So I'm like, you know, I'm just doing my shit, et cetera, and so forth. You know who John Boyega is? No. Star Wars, the black dude. Oh, yeah. On the yeah, new yeah, one. Yeah. So he was on that movie, right? So there was a scene where I was next to him in the movie, and, like, he's getting, he's about to get arrested, blah, 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 blah. But, like, you know, when you're a background, you're in Detroit. Know. No, this is still Boston. This is the movie Detroit, still. Oh, okay, okay. But this is still Oh, yeah, yeah, He was in that movie. That's he was. Right. So uh, there's a scene that he gets arrested um, in the stone mill or whatever. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. And mind you, no lines, no nothing. Um, and my shit was like, I'm not going to talk when I'm not supposed to. Right. But at the same time, I'm going to take that opportunity of saying something. Right. right you know right. what I mean? Like, motherfucker, you got a mic. Sometimes you got to do that. Bro, I'm like, this motherfucker got a mic right next to me. If I be like, boo -ba -dee boo it's going to make it in the movie. Yeah. Or they're going to be like, shut the fuck up. And I won't no, talk. that's one thing about improv that everybody don't get. You can improv a moment in a movie <laughs> or your own shit, and that shit might be bigger than what you expected. And when you do that shit in front in front of directors and other actors, they always like, oh, do that shit. Facts. Do that shit Facts. again. Because we might want that. Sometimes they stick to the script. Sometimes they just like, hey, man, do you. Mind you, we're like we're making a movie, you know what I mean? So I'm just like, you're gonna have to improv, you like make it it's real. You're in the moment. So right. I'm like, if this dude's getting arrested and, and I'm his like if I if I work with him, I'm gonna have to say like something. The dude that was next to me didn't say anything. It was the three of us. Yeah. So I'm like, Raymond, say something. You know what I mean? He's about to get arrested. So as he get, he's about to get arrested, he's giving me his apron and right. then I was like, Take care. And then like I patted him on the back and then he and then they take him away type shit. This is the first time I did it. They yelled cut and then <laughs> Catherine walks up. She went she was like, Do that again. Do, just do it again. I was like, oh, shit. You heard that. Like, I knew she heard that shit. Man. I was like, yeah, motherfucker. I'm like, we out here. Yeah, take care. So, boom. So that line was in there. You know what I mean? Even when you watch the movie now, you can hear it. And it makes it more real. Because yeah. it's like, if it's a movie, like, my boy's about to get arrested but type shit. Me being on YouTube and watching a lot of videos, you see, even in movies that we watch today, that is improv moments right. in these movies. So, like, most of the time when you're watching these movies and it feel like a real moment, it's improv facts so i was like Sometimes you know that. got that shit in there but i was already I, I knew i was cool because i was like we had that moment a couple of days ago with the dancing shit so i was like boom cool uh got i had that moment uh with him and i had like a little side conversation with him like i got to talk to him after, after everything was done asking him just a bunch of questions told me about his journey coming to la 
staying in like shitty motels for like auditions, thinking yeah. he didn't he ha- he wasn't good enough. Fast forward, my fuck I was in Star Wars. So right. I was like, God damn, like he's out here. I was right. like, this what? So it gave me more motivation, you know. So from there, I became more cool with the Tyler guy. And there was a certain scene that they had to do where Tyler was running away from the police. And um, I guess that they asked him to pick someone specifically to run with him. Right. Two people to run from the bunch. Because I guess we was walking. The police came. It was a whole riot. And we had to, like, walk away from that. Dude, like, I was to the side. And I'm just doing my own shit, right? And I overheard the conversation. Catherine was like, yeah, we need you to run with someone. Either we can pick someone or you can pick someone to run with you. Mm-hmm. Bro, I swear to God. Like, I seen him starting to turn around to look at me and I just turned around I played it off I was like oop gave him my back I was like I ain't see shit I'm trying to play it off I was like yeah let me pay attention to being an extra uh boop 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 he went he was like he was like yo Ray I was like oh shit my time to shine turned around he was like hey you want to run with me I was like hell yeah I was I was so happy because I was like damn he really that's that's why I was like I have so much respect for that dude bro it's like it was a brief conversation it was a brief moment yeah. just that movie but it was like I, I would love to see him again and be like bro you are the shit for just yeah. like giving me that opportunity so no for real and it's some really like dope ex- experiences that you have with you know celebrities because when when you actually get to know somebody it's a lot different like the conversation and everything and the feel and the vibe everything becomes different I became that way when I was talking to um Jay Farrell. Jay mm-hmm. Farrell was a real cool dude. He just hopped in a video with me. That's fucking And up. I was like, hey, man. And we actually did a video uh, talking about Black Lives Matter. And his shit went all over the news. Really? And they was hitting me up like, yo, can we interview him? I'm like, I'm not his manager. <laughs> I was like, I was just in a video right with him. I can't be him. But, you know, it's just funny because me and him had, you know, conversations on and off camera. And he's an actual cool dude in person. That's fact. So that's dope. when you meet a celebrity that's cool, hey, man. If they stick by you, if they hit you up, if they invite you to parties, they your friend. You you go to that shit. You don't you don't, <laughs> your miss your out, friend. You don't miss out on none of that opportunity. And most people look at people who do social media like we celebrities. So sometimes I feel how they feel. Like look, people actually look at us on the street and be like, "Yo, you're a celebrity." It's crazy because you said like don't like when people give you an opportunity to be here, be there, do this, do that. Yeah, I'm like even with the small things, it's like. Even like um, long tail, you know, like I'm involved yeah. with long tail. And like, I got the shirt right now. You feel me? And it's just like I say long tail. It says long tail. Nigga, long tail, and it don't. It means that type of long tail, you know, like a long tail on a car. Pause. No, long tail on a car. Literally, what you I'm talking about? I'm to that. I don't know. What he's talking about. Anyways, so um, but like that's like the main thing because it's like my boy Mike that's running it. It was like with him. The reason why I'm part of that shit is because he was like, yo, bro, what are you doing? Shit, come hang out. Come through. Come to come to the crib. Come hang out with us. Right. And then we created a bond and it was like, bro, we starting this shit. You want to be a part of it? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, don't like take every opportunity you can get. You know what I mean? But basically, so he went, he was like, let me run with him. Uh, I was like, all right, cool. I was so excited and happy. Right. And then remember I told you, I was like, this is not the first time somebody said some shit to me. Mm-hmm. So there was this other guy that was on set too. And I don't know what his job was too. I was like, I don't know these people, but like they was somewhat up there. Maybe they was doing it long enough that people respected them or some shit. You know what I mean? I know they're background actors. I've seen them in movies before, but I was like, whatever. So it was this older guy. So the plan was when Tyler wouldn't be inside the build- building with us, but I would be walking with the background extras. At a certain point, he'll walk beside me you know what I mean? And then they'll start the shot on him right there. Like, right. he w- he came from outside the building, which he didn't have to. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? Like, all that shit. But they ended up changing it to a point that he was inside the building, you know? Right. So, I'm standing at a certain spot, because I was in the back with, like, all the other extras at a certain right, right, at a certain right. point. So, they put me in the front. And I had to go in the front, because that's where his pot spot was. Right. So, we had to leave together, you know? So I, Damn. I was, yeah, okay. I mean, you know, if he yeah. tells you to run with him, you got to do that. No, I'm, I'm like, seeing the movie as you explain. <laughs> so it's Am I confusing you? No, no, no. Oh, my bad. No, I'm no. saying like Sometimes I'm watching the movie something. when you explain, so I'm it, just in the zone. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, so that was like the main thing. It was like I needed to walk out with him, so I was like, all right. So I moved myself up because that that's what made sense. The director said yes, he said yes. Right. We knew what's up. He just didn't know. Right. Nobody explained it to him. Damn. So I'm in the front, just minding my business, right? No bullshit, bro. This dude comes up to me and grabs me on the shoulder and tries to bring me to the back on some dad shit, on some like. Oh, come to the back. What are you doing in the front? Like, you don't belong here. Like, blah, 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 blah. Bro, I swear to God, like my nigga caught. side was tingling. My nigga, ting- my nigga tingles was like, mm, they motherfucker. sound like Spider-Man? Nah, it just be like, nigga. <laughs> that's, that's literally what it says. So it's the Kevin Hart voice. 
I'm telling you, bro. Like I was, n- bro. I was, but I was ready to like let off on this motherfucker. But it was two reasons I couldn't. One, he was older. You know what I mean? I respect my elders. I wouldn't have. I would never hit somebody older than me. You know what I mean? No matter what, what it is. Like I mean, it depends if he touches me or hurts me. What if it was an older white guy? And he called you a. Oh, then I'm smacking the <laughs> shit out of him back and forth. Ba, 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 ba. I'm smacking him from every letter. N I G G G G G G. I'll force that G. I'll make it go so long. But I'm just like, I, I was triggered. But at the same time, I was like, I couldn't hit him because he was older. At the same time, right. I was like, um, we are on set. So I don't want to get kicked off. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I don't want to well, fuck up the opportunity to be that. Tendencies I was, I was, I was like, I'm not going to let that side out. So a little bit yeah, slipped out, good. though, I'll be honest. I was a little, a little cracks, like Thor's hammer. Mm-hmm. It was like a little cracks in there coming out. So, oh, so as he grabbed me back, I was like, bro, get the fuck off me, bro. Damn. And then everybody just like, whoa. I was like, bro, don't touch me. I was like, there's, there's a reason why I'm up here. And then he, he, he was like, oh, nah, like, you can't be up there, blah, 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 blah. I was like, bro, shut the fuck up. I was like, bro, seriously, bro, the director put me up here. There's a reason why I'm up here, bro. And if you if you got a problem with that, walk up to the director and ask her. And then he like he didn't he didn't say anything. I was like, exactly, right? You don't you don't have that authority to walk up to the director and fucking ask her. Damn. Just pause the whole fucking moment. Hey, no, nah, but sometimes you gotta have moments like that. You have to. You have because to. Because people just really be ticking. You I was I kept, the more I kept on talking, the more louder I got to the point that the director heard me. She came, she comes in, she was like, Raymond, calm down, boy. They pulled me into the side, told the dude, like, dude, this is what we had planned. So fuck off. You know what I mean? He had to go to the fucking back. You know what I mean? Because so he was he saying some slick shit. Because he was saying some slick shit like, oh, you yeah, you always moving. You always blah, 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 blah. Just like the other right. dude. So I was like, nigga, mm. showed you dumbass. So they everything got better, got back into composure, yeah. did the scene with him for a couple of the scenes. Mm. Everything went great. And then right after that, I went, I was like, you know what? Let me ask Catherine like, for some advice. I was like, yo, what's up? Like, I want to like, do you, I was like, do you have like a couple of minutes so I can ask you about like. LA acting blah 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 she was like yeah this woman gave me an hour while everybody's setting up she sat wow. there and just talked to me no she was just standing up just talking to me That's asked great. about moving to LA she was like do it don't not do it you know what I mean chase your dreams do all that shit she ended up giving me her uh, cause I asked her for her number cause I wanted to try to get her number and uh-huh. email or something but she was like get my assistant's email and then go through him blah 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 and when you get to LA hit me up I was so, bro I was like what motherfucker I will I will call you right now. I'm in Boston. I'll just call you, let you know I'm on my goddamn way in like three months. But just, just save my number. Like don't 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 you know lose my number. Right. But I didn't do it. I was like, you know what? Let me just wait. So um, the last day, well, my last day was the next day. I didn't know it though. Mm-hmm. It wasn't supposed to be. So she already had planned because after the conversation, I guess she loved it. So the next morning, I walk in. She went. She was like, um, I, I let me talk to you. I was like, oh shit, what's going on? She went. She was like, um, would you like a line in the movie? I was like. Mm-hmm. Nigga, what the fuck? Hell yeah. What? I was like, a line in the movie. I was, was like, like, don't mind if I do. It's like somebody been like, you want this hundred dollars, bitch? Yes. I would love it. Give it to me. All of it. It's like, are you blind? Give it, give it all. So I was like, yeah, let me get it. So she's like, yeah. She was like, um, this is what she told me though. It's so crazy. She was like, I wish I met you sooner because I would have casted you in the movie. I was like, but I didn't take it And this motherfucker Sipping while I'm doing My goddamn shit You heard that shit She said she would've Cast you in the movie I had to sip to that Wait that's like a moment Hold on Oh wait wait um, It wasn't supposed to be that It was supposed to be something else. You see what happens When you get black people like Wait wait, wait 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 Hold up You gotta wait till the sound Go away Alright Nah I think it was supposed to be I got Samantha so left This sound Oh wait no Not that one Motherfucker if you stop Touching these goddamn buttons Nigga get the fuck it, out of here This one Okay, that's all. That's I all don't I'm even doing. understand why you got this big ass machine with all these goddamn buttons. You be- because you need stuff like mm-hmm. eventually I'm gonna have life. these buttons be different things. Like we can put words. <laughs> you know what's into funny? Those. You know what's funny? The first yeah. thing that I think about this motherfucker is iCarly out here with these buttons. And shit, you should have a portable <laughs> one, nigga. Like, bam! <laughs> I don't know which. Oh, okay. that made me feel so inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> like I want to, I want to just like go do a poem or some shit. For real? Roses are red, violets are blue. Oh shit! Let me tell you something. I hate my baby mom, and that bitch hates me too. Damn. God damn it! I hate that bro. You really got a baby? Let me tell you something. Anyways, side note. Uh, let's get back to what we was talking about. So, um, she walks up to me. She's like, "Hey, you want a line of the movie?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I would love a line." Boom, gives me the line. She says that line. She says, "I, w- I would have loved to cast you." I was like, "Fuck that!" I was like, "I just thank you for this opportunity." So I got my line in the movie. Me and my boy Angel got 
both of our lines in the same um, movie because he was because I gave him a ride that day and he was telling me about it. He got his line and my line was right before his line, mm. which was even fucking doper. So we got a chance to do that shit. I got credited into the movie too, which was like even like crazier right there. Raymond Moreno, if you look it up, if you watch Detroit, it's there. Huh. I'm angry kid number three, hey, baby. Speak your shit. I swear to God, you got to get these fucking shits correct, <laughs> bro. Like, wait, what is this one? Okay, yeah, never mind. All right, cool. he, I'm uh, get it together. This is some crazy hey, shit. Hey, Any, look, man, I just learned the board. Don't touch. When you don't have a you, team, you learn all this shit. By I'm gonna yourself. be an assistant. I'm just gonna hold and click shit for you, yeah, bro. You I got can, you because you don't know which one's gonna hit you. See, that's not even nothing right there. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's go. This is some bullshit. I swear to God, if I went our Carly, they would have this shit correct. You on some shit So I had that moment And it's crazy Because the whole time um, The ADs were treating me Like like a scrub You know when you When you have background You're a scrub That's basically it yeah. The minute I got my uh, My line in the movie I swear to god I kid you not Somebody comes up to me With an umbrella Puts it over me Asks me what I want For fucking dinner They was like We got steak uh, Asparagus You know why I was more mad I was on set For like two months As an extra right They was feeding us good You know some good ass meals Some good ass food But what's good uh, it was um like chicken, rice, but like what it, kind of chicken? They had fried and they had um, um oven roasted. That's it. I mean, they had um, bro. It was like years ago. How the hell do I remember? They had some salad. They had like if you've been there, it's better than Crafties. You know what I mean? They feed well, you. They had Chick Fil A. Bro, I don't know what kind of set you've been on. Like, I haven't been on a Chick Fil A commercial. Like, what's going on with you over here? You hungry? I'm just playing. God damn! Now I'm just fucking with you. So um yeah no uh damn. You, Fuck it made me lose my train of thought. Was talking the, about food, the, movie, the food, yes. the food, the food. So uh, yeah, no, like they was feeding us really well. Like we was getting some okay. good, good food, like a buffet, like good, really good food, catered and everything. Gotcha. But I swear to God, what pissed me off more than anything else, it was um w- once they walked up to me and showed me the menu that like the main actors eat. I was fucking like livid. I was like, bro, this, y'all eat this shit in front of us. Like no wonder y'all be in the corner, like away from us. Like, they got everything. Like, yeah, they, they asked me if I want chocolate strawberries. They had a whole fondue station. I didn't even know what fondue was. I'm, I found out fondue, like, last minute what it was. I was like, this is amazing. You do this on set. Bro, it was so much shit. I Steak, bet. brownie. They had so much options. And I was like, wow, this is, like, crazy shit. I got to got that experience. As soon as they mic you up, I went. Oh, uh, Kyrie just got traded to the Lakers, apparently. Carries on his phone right now, but we ain't gonna talk about Kyrie right now. I'm from Boston, we still feeling that effect. Anywho, as soon as I got as soon as I got my mics, my mic, I seen like all the girls on the side and the people. They're like, "Oh, who's that?" Right. I became a somebody. You know what I mean? So I'm like, "Oh shit!" I try to play it off. I was like, "Yeah, you know, it's my fourth movie." The line of people, like straight up, some dude walked up to me. He was like, "Oh, have you done a movie before?" I was like, "Hell yeah, Bad Boys Two. I was in there." He went. He was like, "Really?" I know his ass didn't watch Bad Boys Two. That's why I said it. You was in Bad Boys. I, I know you seen it, so now it seems like a lie, right? Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> no, nah, I wasn't a bad boy too. But I was lying just because I had the camera. I mean, I had the mic, and I was like, I had to make myself somebody. You know what I mean? I even told somebody else, Kevin Hart's brother. They believed it. Kind of racist, but I went with it. It is what it is. It's like if I told you I'm Kevin Hart's brother and you believed it, it is, that, that's my fault. You know what I mean? I, I look, believe it. I look like Kevin Durant. I look like RZA. I look like like it's crazy. Ooh, if I gr- damn, if I let dude. my hair out, I look straight up like Somebody RZA from said Kevin Durant. Peak game. So if I grow my hair out, I look like RZA from American Gangster. But if I cut my hair with like that taco meat hair, I look up like straight up like Kevin Durant. It's kind of it's kind of weird. At the same time, I'm gonna be honest. But you know, I mean, it is what it is. Some girl walked up to me one day. She when she was like, "Hey, you Kevin Durant?" I was like, "You want me to be?" She was like, "Kind of fucking question is that?" I was like, "Bitch, yeah, I am Kevin Durant." Guess what? It didn't work out. She found out I wasn't Kevin Durant. They have Instagram and shit, so clearly it wasn't me. So you know, I don't, I don't make it that far. But um, I don't know what the hell I was going with this. I don't even know how the hell we got to Kevin Durant and shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said you look like Kevin Durant, but you was talking about your story with the food and shit. Oh yeah, whatever. Yeah, we they ate. They gave us some good ass. Oh yeah, the people. I was just lying on who I was, just because I had the mic. It was a crazy experience. Um, fast forward to coming to LA mm-hmm. I emailed the guy um, Her assistant Excited as shit I'm like I'm ready I'm about to become the best actor in the world I got the director's email It's about to be a rap Emailed them Nothing I was like shit What the fuck Nothing at all Nothing at all I was like alright cool It is what it is So I ended up finding him on um, On Instagram I don't know how But he was there DM'd his ass so fast I was like hey brother I'm here 
I was like, where the hell is he? <laughs> I didn't even ask him how he was. I was like, I'm here. It was Catherine. He when he was he when he was like, oh yeah, hey Ray, how you doing? Et cetera and so forth. I skipped over all that. I was like, was Catherine? He he was like, I felt bad though. He when he was like, uh, yeah, so I got fired. Uh, I don't work with her no more. I was like, oh shit, you got fired. He, I get, I guess so. Either fired or let go. It was one of them shits. He wasn't working with her no more. I was like, god tough. damn. I was I was so mad because I was like, you ever been fired from a job? Who me? Do I look like somebody that got fired from a job? Hell yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. I never got fired from a job. Man, like, any job that I ever had, I got fired from. That's that's episode two. We'll do episode two right after this <laughs> if you want to. We can talk about jobs and getting fired, but I had my sheer stories of jobs. Working in Boston yep. with this face, <laughs> you get into mischief. I'm just going to tell you that much. A lot of mischief. But in general, though, um, uh, I guess he got let go or whatever, so he was no help. So I couldn't find Catherine. So to this day... I'm still trying to find her. Still trying to let her know I'm out here. Cause wow. I know she told me though, like she when she was like, "Let me know when you get to LA." You know what I mean? Like, Damn. so I'm like, Catherine, please, if you watch this, which let I let me hope, the fuck know. You, oh, okay, all right, shit. Sure. Well, that's how but, she said it. Right? She didn't say it like that. She was oh, more yeah. like, you know, Raymond, let me know. My bad, animal. But yeah, <laughs> no. So, Catherine, if no, nah, I'm just like, I hope I see her again. I swear. Like I made a, I made an impact that I know if I see her again, she'll remember who I was. So right. I'm just waiting for the day. I'm going to an audition. I'm like, Catherine, Raymond, I got the part. Duh. Bam. It is what it is. It's going to work out like that. If not, shit, I ain't got nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Holding well, on to a lot. This story obviously meant something to you because you remember it. Facts. Facts. And like I'm telling you, she she's going to remember it. It's like the Kevin Hart uh, story. But I'm like, yeah, that's how I ended up getting like bumped up you know what i mean from like a regular background and man literally as a principal role you're not a regular person so you're not gonna go out there and be like everybody else you're gonna make yourself different from the crowd and get noticed hold on hold on hold on hold on on, on, on. i'm batman i just wanted to do that okay okay well just so you know we almost running on 40 uh yeah that's why i was closing it up so anyways that's the end of my story uh (laughs) We end it how we end it. But yeah, that's yeah. how I literally got bumped up as a printer role. It's funny though, real quick. I said I wasn't going to go to 40 minutes, but God damn it, we had 37 minutes. I tried. Three minutes, I shaved off. Hey, look, man, I already knew you was going back to 40, so it was... <laughs> I told Kerry 20 minutes, he was like, yeah, motherfucker, whatever. <laughs> Not sure. Okay. Sure. The funny thing is, I was you like... say 20. The funny 20 thing minutes is, I was like, is a five-minute conversation. I told him, I was like, yo, hey, listen, if you let me talk... Like just talk and you just react and shit. We don't get sidetracked with shit, which we did. We got sidetracked. This shit would have been probably been like 30, 25. Mm. We, 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 talked we didn't really get that sidetracked though. You nah, just made bit. every conversation but a conversation. I, t- I, t- <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, if you let me talk more, like this shit will be like 20 minutes. I guarantee you. He did all that. 40 minutes, 39 minutes, 38. I tried. But you know who used to talk like this? My granddad. There we go. I'm telling and you, when I, I got kids, I'll be able to like, you guys day. can tell I love talking and I love telling the stories. This yeah. is it. Like I can talk. I, I talk to myself sometimes in the house. Uh, I think that's an Aquarius thing. Yeah, I, I, uh, maybe. I talk to myself. I'm myself. Best I be telling friend, myself. I, I told myself a story the other day that I knew of and I laughed. Not like a genuine like, ha, oh, yeah, I'm a laugh. I, ain't like that. I laughed. I was like, damn, that's funny as <laughs> shit. What the fuck? This nigga told himself a whole story. I told himself a story and then laughed. Let me tell you something. So what you do? You tell the story and then you just like. <laughs> and then when you think about the situation, you're like, damn, that shit did happen. <laughs> wow. It's funny. I never really talked to myself like that. But I mean, when you're chilling by yourself. Myself. Anywho, we're going to end this motherfucking podcast because <laughs> clearly he can't relate to the shit I do. But uh, yeah, no, know. that's, that's going to be at the end of episode two. Okay. Episode three. At this point, I don't know what the fuck we're going to talk about, to be honest, but we're going to talk about something. You're going to see the notification that I posted something, so we'll figure it out. Carrie, you want to give yourself a shout out? That's about it for Carrie, boy. Nobody gives a fuck about you. We already said it in the beginning. Uh, that would be Carrie in Ray. No, I'm just playing my name. <laughs> fuck you. I'm out. The fuck are you, Barack Obama, <laughs> nigga? All right. Clearly, he's out. Mic drop. All right, yo. No, I'm just playing, but this Carrie, you know, we out. And, you know, I ain't got to reintroduce myself every time. So y'all know me as Gary. I'm just looking at the timer to see if I can hit for it. Now I'm just playing. All right. We out. We out. (laughs) I'm doing it with my hands, but it doesn't work.